The post-World War II economic order, the system that guaranteed prosperity in the West for more than 80 years, is coming apart very fast, and along with it, the dominance of the US dollar. These are not small changes. They are history-altering developments. They will define the lives of our grandchildren. Most of the world understands this perfectly well. They can see it. Ask anyone in Asia or the Middle East what the future looks like. And yet the populations of the English-speaking countries seem mostly unaware. They think that as nothing has really changed. And they think that because no one has told them the truth. Their media outlets are corrupt. They lie to their readers and viewers. And they do that mostly by omission. Freedom of speech is our birthright. We were born with the right to say what we believe. That right cannot be taken away no matter who is in the White House. But they're trying anyway. In this thought-provoking video, Tucker Carlson confronts the challenges facing America head-on, offering a candid assessment of the current state of affairs. From the unraveling of the post-World War II economic order to the erosion of trust in media and institutions, Carlson paints a stark picture of a nation in flux. Amidst these turbulent times, Carlson urges viewers not to lose sight of America's enduring beauty and resilience. With eloquent descriptions of the nation's breathtaking landscapes and the profound kindness of its people, he invites us to pause and appreciate the magnificence that surrounds us. So many things seem so completely screwed up right now that it can be overwhelming. And over time, it's also misleading. If you pay too much attention to what's happening, you can easily conclude that America is a rotten country. But that's wrong. It's not. America is still the best there is. Two things about America make it great the country and its people. This is a truly beautiful place. That's the first thing. If you're absorbed in your phone all day, it's easy to forget that, but look around. It's stunning. Switzerland has the Alps, Zimbabwe has Victoria Falls, but multiply that by an entire continent and you've got what we have, America. From the islands of Puget Sound, to the islands in Casco Bay, to the Rockies and the Badlands, and the Upper Peninsula and the Appalachian Mountains in between. Spend a day hiking through the Shoshone National Forest in Wyoming. You might not see another person. How can a place so gorgeous be so empty? We've got a lot of those here. Wake up in Big Sur, California some morning. The smell of redwoods and salt air will change you. You'll feel things you inherited from your ancestors coming from places the modern world cannot touch. We are blessed to live in a place like this, more blessed than we acknowledge. No matter what happens next, no matter who becomes the president, now or in the future, nothing can diminish the dignity of an eastern white pine towering above the spruce in a New England forest. All of it is ours to enjoy. Thank God. But it's not just the physical beauty of America that captivates Carlson. He also celebrates the inherent goodness and generosity of its citizens, highlighting their compassion towards one another and their unwavering commitment to community. And we've got a lot of people to enjoy it with, an awful lot. Americans are still the best people, misguided as we sometimes are. This isn't an especially religious country anymore, but surveys on church going do not tell the whole story. Even now, most Americans know they're not really in charge of the universe. They know there's something bigger out there, bigger than all of us combined. And when you understand that, when you know in your bones how small you are, and how short the ride is likely to be, you tend to treat people better. Americans do. Don't let cable news fool you. Don't let us fool you. This is a profoundly nice country, the nicest in the world. Americans are kind to children, to pets, to strangers. We give more money to charity than any other place. We tip our waiters more. There's no country on earth you'd rather be lost in. Someone will help you. In America, we don't eat dogs, we rescue them. They sleep on the bed, we give them funny names, we cry when they die. It's a sweet country. In some ways, it's getting better. The music's definitely improving, so is the food. Believe it or not, we still make things here, and a lot of them are pretty good. That probably won't change. Americans love innovation, but they're distrustful of anyone's radical plans for the future. Most people here don't want an abrupt reshuffling of everything. They'd prefer incremental improvement. That's why we've had only one revolution. It's why we fought off the metric system all these years, and thank heaven we have. It's why we still have Christmas, and always will. Christmas in America is great. 
even if you don't really understand what it's about, and many people don't, it's still the happiest time of the year, and therefore it's the most American. America is a happy country, despite everything. Our happiness is fundamental. It's in our founding documents. It's in our people. Nothing happening tonight can take that away.